The spring anime season has recently begun and a bunch of new anime have come out, one of them being Oshinoko. This was probably the most anticipated anime of the season and arguably the most anticipated anime since Chainsaw Man a few seasons ago. A lot of manga readers have been hyping it up and talking about how it's going to be very different than the usual anime in this genre. This one was an anime that I was actually looking forward to quite a bit. And one of the reasons, uh, actually a big reason, was because I've actually read the manga of it uh, last year. Uh, I'm not currently caught up with the manga, I'm about like 30 chapters behind, but I, I was caught up at some point uh, last year. I've read like the first 90 chapters or so. So I don't read manga as much as I watch anime, but uh, I decided to give the manga a try last year just because of the things I heard about it and uh, I thought it would interest me just like I've heard there were like a lot of plot twists and uh, things of that nature and uh, so I decided to give it a try and I actually really enjoyed it. I think the first volume was definitely really good, a really good start and uh, that is the reason a lot of people recommend it because of the plot twist in, in that first volume. A lot of manga readers definitely hyped this anime up and I will say that I do think that it was overhyped a bit just because uh, a lot of people made it seem like it was gonna be something that it wasn't or just uh, you know how manga readers are they just overhype things a lot but in this case the series is actually good and the first episode actually came out this week and uh, we actually got an, an hour and 20 minutes first episode which is pretty unusual the reason they did it was so that they could adapt that first volume uh, because they just wanted to put it all in one episode because of the plot twist and just how the story would would flow and I think that was a really good decision by them because uh, if they didn't do that I think the first episode if, if, if it was just a normal first episode I, I think people would have wondered you know why exactly is this popular and why is it getting hyped up a lot but now that it actually adapted uh, you know up to a certain point with the plot twist uh, with eyes death I think a lot more people understand now why it has been getting a lot of praise and uh, a lot of hype now, honestly, when I first started the episode, I was just really excited just because, um, like I said, I don't read as much manga. So it was really nice to see these characters animated uh, for the first time uh, after being a manga reader. And uh, I thought that was really cool, just uh, just everything, the way they were animated, the art style. I think the anime studio did really well with animating it and they got the art style right. I, I do think the art style in the manga is really good. It might even be a little better than the anime, but uh, I think they've done really good for now. I will say that the concept of this story is pretty weird, even by anime standards, uh, especially the beginning where you just have, uh, you know, our, char our male character just getting killed and then he gets reincarnated as the child of I, the idol. Uh, I thought that was just really weird. I think a lot of people did as well. I do think some of the things got a bit too weird. Uh, especially in those beginning stages and I'm surprised that a lot more people haven't talked about these issues I, I thought it would have offended a lot more people than it actually did so I'm a bit surprised at the reception it's been getting because it's been mostly positive now Oshinoko is an idol anime but it's very different from normal idol animes now I personally haven't really seen many idol anime apart from like Zombieland Saga but I, I know they usually aren't like this. Uh, actually, I don't even think it's correct to call it an idol anime just because it focuses more on the entertainment industry in general, uh, just showing the good and the bad parts about it. Uh, a lot of it uh, later on, it, it will be specifically about the acting industry and actors uh, because that's what uh, the main character, Aqua, will sort of be uh, doing. Let's talk a bit about the characters. Uh, now, I herself, honestly, at the start, I really didn't like her uh, just because, you know, she came in, she was expecting twins at 16 and uh, she just seemed very nonchalant about it, sort of like just uh, making jokes about it. You know, I think if this was like a, a 16 year old that wasn't an idol, a, a lot of people would have called her, you know, irresponsible or whatever. I think they tried to make her seem a bit too quirky at the start. My first impressions of her is I didn't really like her, especially when she started talking about lying to her audience uh, about uh, her feelings or that kind of stuff. And honestly, I'm actually glad this series talks about these things because that is true. That actually happens a lot with 
uh, you know, public figures and idols and singers and all that, a lot of their fan bases, you know, they feel like they have this connection with them when in reality, you know, that person is just putting on an act. And I haven't really seen many other series talk about these things and explore these sort of themes. So that's another reason why I think this series is very interesting, just exploring I herself and uh, how she think, how she feels about this whole situation, her fan base, and uh, what she thinks about an idol and what an idol should be. But like I said, I appreciated like her character, the themes that was explored using it. But herself, I honestly didn't really like her. Uh, now I will say at the end, when she actually died and she actually told her kids that she loved them, you know, I will say that moment was fairly emotional. It sort of uh, raised my opinion of her a little bit but overall you know I, I wouldn't say i particularly liked her as a character uh and i'm sort of glad that the story changed to our new characters aqua and ruby uh as the main characters now by the end of the episode we are pretty much told that this is basically like a revenge story of uh, our main character aqua uh trying to figure out who i's partner was uh in order to pretty much get revenge on them and that's a pretty interesting plot line. So yeah, like I said, there's definitely some interesting plot lines in the series, some interesting themes that will be explored, uh, which I do like about it. I think I might start reading the manga again and be caught up with it. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the opening. We actually got the song and it's really good. The opening song is pretty fire. We haven't had the visuals for it yet. That will be in the next episode. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that. So yeah, I think I will be making more videos on this series. I might even make weekly uh, videos talking about the episodes. Yeah.